so this is a product I reviewed before. Uh, well, not the, the exact product because uh, this is basically a remote uh, power and reset switch for uh, your computer. <clears throat> basically, you can use your phone or uh, an RF controller that you get with it, like a button kind of controller. You'll see it in a second. Uh, but basically, you can start your PC uh, from any, pretty much anywhere on uh, a smartphone app. Uh, now this device is called the uh, Tuya uh, USB Pro uh, kind of reset and power switch. So basically you could, uh, just what I said, you can remotely start your PC from anywhere, uh, everywhere you pretty much have internet access to. So. That's pretty much everywhere because you can even use your uh, 4G or mobile data, your 5G, 4G, whatever uh, speeds you have. You can use your mobile data to uh, connect to the, your account on the Tuya app and that uh, will remote remotely uh, power your PC as long as the device has internet connection in your home and uh, when you uh, set it up you connect it to your Wi-Fi uh, network basically you're providing it with internet but let's just say uh, okay your internet is off and uh, you have like uh, some connection difficulties uh, you know your ISP is being a dickhead and they, or noobs complete noobs and they have an error or something that they need to fix and yes it won't work and uh, you would actually have to use uh, either the RF by remote or it's even uh, working with Bluetooth but it's always nice to use the app but uh, without further ado let's dive into the, the box I uh, previously covered this kind of product the PCIe version but I had to get like a USB one because uh, it turned out that I uh, from okay so uh, I bought this from my personal computer but turned out uh, I had to have that uh, PCIe slot uh, being used uh, for something else uh, but uh, luckily they had also they also have like a USB version of this thing so today I will be testing this and uh, I want to see how it works I hope it works well because I really need that for my PC for this PC anyway it's my that PC is going to manage uh, it's a huge array of data, so uh, yes, I need to be able to uh, remote start it from a uh, different location. So without uh, further ado, let's dive into the box. Let's uh, take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so basically the, the thing came into uh, in a bubble wrap uh, bag over here, and an anti-static bag as well. It's packaged pretty good. Uh, so right now I'm going to just uh, open it up. Grab this uh, scissors. Careful not to cut any wire. Basically, we'll take a look at what we get. Uh, so basically, you get the remote, the RF remote. I already saw this one uh, from the PCIe version that I bought before. Basically, just the power off, power on uh, kind of remote. You get like a a double sided tape, a three meter, three, uh, meter uh, kind of length, thickness. Uh, basically that way you can uh, paste it down into your desk and uh, it uses 20-25 uh, uh, batteries I think. Let me see, uh, yeah, yeah 20-25, I don't know if you can read that inside but yeah, I have plenty of those. Uh, I don't think I'll use that. I never used the the one on my PCIe, so it's just the, the app really. So over here you get the device itself with the wires. Uh, this is where you connect your uh, powers W, and uh, this must be the reset. I don't know. Pretty weird. I never seen this before. Okay. Wow. Uh, but this is a power SW, okay, weird. And then you get the antenna. This is a Wi-Fi antenna. Basically, you uh, there is a double-sided tape on this thing too. That way you can tape it in. I know exactly where that's going to go. And this is like, uh, I think, an RF uh, antenna for that remote over here. 
I don't know if you can tell, but there is like a, like a, a curly kind of connector. Uh, yeah, basically it connects into the <coughs> RF, and this is the USB. So whoa, it actually connects into a USB connection. What the hell? Oh, what the hell? I thought like a USB on your motherboard. I'm confused now. How am I gonna do this? Uh, I think I have a good idea how. But... Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty confusing. <laughs> but okay, I guess. Uh, I guess that's okay. And you don't get like. Uh, Wait, so it's not like the other device where you get like... Hmm... Where's the instruction on this thing, man? I thought you would get like a splitter, that, that way you can use your uh, original uh, connectors. That's well, pretty different from the PCIe version, I guess. That's too bad. That is too bad. They should have included like a... Uh, a manual for this because this is really incoherent on what you're supposed to do but I, anyway I'm gonna figure it out and uh, yeah I'll pick it back up once I set everything up all right so I got everything in uh, yeah the USB uh, is connected it doesn't I know it doesn't really look the best but that's the best I could do given the circumstance I didn't realize it's gonna use a regular USB that's really really weird uh, but yeah, uh, luckily I have like a routing uh, hole for uh, cable management in my desk PC, so I kind of like, whew, I was like, alright, it's not too bad. Uh, basically, the internal connectors, uh, after digging through uh, a little bit more, I kind of figured out that uh, you connect your original uh, connectors on this thing over here, because if you turn it sorry. If you turn it around, you see, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it says power is W, uh, so that's where you connect your original uh, kind of like um, connectors. I'm going to check that out to verify that it actually works. But uh, yeah, I paired it with my phone. Uh, let's see right here. I don't know if you can uh, see that. I have like a few devices on there already. So uh, yeah, there you go. G Brugger's main PC. This is this is this computer. Uh, the DAS smart plug socket is just a smart socket that I uh, had before, and the G Brugger's media center. Well, that's gonna be my little server over there. I put the two uh, PCIe uh, the PCIe version in there, which is a better version, as far as I can tell, better than this. So if you have an option to use your PCIe or USB, get the PCIe, no, no brainer, it's much better than this. Uh, but I hope that the functionality stays the same, I'm gonna check that out. So basically, uh, yeah, let's uh, just power it on. I'm just gonna click on this. There you go. Yeah, it turns it on. All right, yeah, it turns the PC on, pretty good. Uh, let's see, that it's booting. Yeah, boots right up. Yeah, no keyboard, whatever. Okay, so right now, uh, let's see if it works exactly as the as the other. Uh, basically, is. Uh, what I'm trying to say is the PCIe version. We have a DP uh, mode reset. I'm just gonna click on the reset. That's supposed to reset your PC, do a regular reset. No, it doesn't work. Because we don't have a reset switch connected. That's one of the problems that I had with this thing. That it didn't have like a reset switch uh, connected to it. So therefore it's not like the Okay, this is shutting down force reset, is shutting down your PC basically. Do a, sh a shutdown just like uh, a Windows shutdown and then uh, it's like resetting your PC from the from the top. But luckily I have like uh, 
a reset switch on my uh, regular case over here so it doesn't really matter so right off the bat we see that the reset doesn't work because uh, obviously there is no reset uh, on the on the yeah reset uh, connector on the thing over there so it's fine uh, you have uh, all the you have all the kind of settings in the in the device over here child lock RF study I'm just going through I'm sorry I'm kind of distracted right now relay status I'm, it's my first time seeing this too so you can uh, reschedule a timer to turn your PC on just like the other one and basically let's do a PC status and shut this off yeah it shuts off the PC and now I'm gonna check the regular uh, key, uh, regular uh, button over here see that it works and yes it works powers on the PC and now I want to check the reset after it boots up of course but yeah I think it works well it's just the reset that uh, missing that's as far as I can tell it's just the reset and we have the power LED over there the HDD LED and power LED sorry uh, but yeah I just want to see let's wait for Windows to boot up and then I'm going to uh, hit the reset button see if it's resetting alright let's let it do some processes hold on yeah it's resetting beautifully good alright as far as I'm concerned uh, we have everything we want so that's good that's all I wanted it's working well I'm just going to uh, position it in a way where it's not it's gonna look a little bit more presentable than this cuz uh, yeah this looks kinda atrocious right now <laughs> to be honest with you yes it it looks ugly as hell so I'm gonna have to fix it but uh, basically uh, it works well just what I needed for uh, later on I'm gonna make sure like maybe tomorrow when I turn on this PC again I'm going to uh, uh, use my mobile data basically to test and see that uh, it actually uh, runs the PC from a different network even if I'm uh, gonna be in a different uh, place so obviously if it's a different network then it doesn't matter where you are but yeah uh, you know what I mean but uh, yeah that's basically the video about the Tuya USB Pro uh, power and re power reset switch uh, Wi-Fi reset switch it's a Wi-Fi device uh, you can use Bluetooth and RF as well infrared but yeah uh, basically I'm gonna use it for uh, on a Wi-Fi mode but yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye bye